How'd it feel to get back on the field for the first time in two weeks? Uh, I feel good. Uh, playing back at home, um, coming out of homecoming, new uniforms. So I definitely had a lot of emotion out there today. What happens to your defense when Avante Maddox goes out and you have to replace him with a young, inexperienced cornerback? How do you kind of step up as your role as a leader in the secondary? Uh, well, uh, Avante, one of the best corner on the team. Last year, great corner, went against Tyler Boyd every day. So I got a lot of confidence in him. Uh, so when he went down, uh, Dane Jackson came in. And uh, that's one of my close friends. So I felt like I still had that confidence with, uh, with Dane in there, just keep him motivated. Uh, Ryan Lewis uh, had a couple, had a play he messed up on, just keep him motivated. And then Reggie and uh, T. Webb, both uh, the free safeties, Reggie plays both, but they used to uh, keep everybody in the back end motivated too. Did you have a message at all for Dane once once Avante went down? Any, any Anything to say to him? Uh, kind of just don't want to say anything too much because he knows his role, got to step up. So pretty much just telling him, make a play. Uh, kept repeating that in his head, just make a play. Is it a more difficult situation for him, given that you're playing a, an option team like Georgia Tech and you're, you know, sort of the whole approach to defense is a little bit different? Uh, yeah, definitely, but uh, all week in practice we had great scheme, uh, kind of different from when we played the uh, option teams last year. It was kind of more easier for the uh, defensive backs to pick up on stuff. So I wasn't too worried about anybody really making too many mistakes because it was kind of simple. They broke it down for us easier. So uh, all week in practice, we didn't really – every day was pretty good practice, so I had a lot of confidence. That's talk about week that uh, Theron Coleman was the, the scout team quarterback, and, made a, and, and I think uh, Coach Coleman said, you, know, you guys win and you guys stop that offense. It would be because of that the look that scout team did. How much did that play out? Uh, well, he was, he's a D-back, so he got a lot of speed, just like uh, the quarterback they had. So him in practice every day, he was going hard. Uh, he was, they just brought him up saying, you want to, uh, you're playing scout team quarterback. So he took it all in uh, 100% every day. He got, he after yesterday actually said to me, like, my legs hurt because I've been running full speed every day. So uh, I give credit <laughs> to him. <laughs> you talk about that fourth down play and that unfolded right in front of you there. Right. Um, what you saw and mm -hmm. what you thought when it happened. Um, I was just, my job when that was just to get uh, get to the alley and just in case they pitched the ball. And I, before that, I uh, was just telling the defense, um, linemen do your job, uh, linebackers do your job, and then d backs we will do our job. So. Uh, Freak did his job. Freak, we call him Freak. Uh, Tyreek Jarrett, but he did his job, and then uh, Matty G came up and cleaned it up. Are you surprised it was a dive? I mean, usually they were running wide on their uh, third, fourth It was dive. fourth to one. I was we were pretty pretty expecting a dive because that was uh, fourth to one. You probably go to get a couple one to two yards to, every time you try to do the dive. Were you surprised they at least went for it on fourth down? Or were you expecting a punt? There? Uh, I was kind of expecting a punt just because it was backed up, kind of kind of towards their end zone. I was going to expect a punt, but it's, it was third and third and six, thirty seven before that or something like that. So I felt like if they got the fourth and one, fourth and two, they were going to go for it.